Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you might be. My name is Marva V. I am the CEO and founder of Black Link Magazine. We are a global publication and we are everywhere. We're everywhere. So go ahead and follow us on all social media sites, blacklinkmagazine.com. Mag Black I am so excited, so excited to have the Mr. Ski Johnson. He is a superstar jazz saxophonist and we are just thrilled to have you. Welcome Ski to Black Link Magazine. Um, go ahead and tell the world who you are and what you actually do. It's an honor to be here, first of all. I'm a jazz saxophonist, um, um, but I've been trying to, you know, break ground with new, you know, taking jazz to the mainstream. I'm on my 10th album. Been in the game a long time, you know, so it's, 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 it's good stuff. Good, good to be here. Well, good to have. I always like to hear the stories of how of of your journey, right? How you started right. and and everything that you kind of some touch on some of the things that you've gone through. Before we do that, I want to shout out um, Mr. John Blassingame, who has now become my publicist, who is now oh. um, my mentor, my everything. So shout out to John Blassingame for this connection as well. So yeah. let's go ahead and get started. I want to talk about. I want to talk about. Let me tell you this first. So I used to play the violin mm -hmm. and I was pretty good. Well, I was second chair, right? And so right. I, I wasn't so bad, but then it just kind of faded away. Wasn't my really what I was wanting to do. Tell me about you getting into playing the saxophone and becoming who you are today. Well, um, I, I started playing the clarinet. I suffer from a disease called alopecia, which causes you to lose your hair at a young age. And um, as a result of that, I was bullied and I went through changes, but so I kind of cling to the clarinet and eventually I um, trans, you know, I, I moved over to a saxophone because it was more commercial. And that's how things started to move for me. So were you actually doing this in school? You started in a class or is this something that at home they were teaching? Well, no, I started at home. I practiced. I went to Duke Ellington School for the Arts, Performing Arts in D.C. So performing arts school. A lot of folks went there. You know, yeah. Dave Chagall went there. Debbie Allen, who dancer from fame. Um, Tony Cherry. You know, a lot of a lot of folks in the entertainment industry attended there. You know, Janet Jackson, uh, uh, not Janet Jackson, came there, but Stacey Lattisall went there for a little while. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's a well known school and has produced some, some, some major stars in the industry. Yes, I would say so. Let me ask you about your journey because we just did a story on a young lady locally. Well, she's from here, but she's living abroad now, but she suffered with alopecia as well. And I don't want to get too far into that, but, um, and she talked about the bullying just like you did. So your go-to was the saxophone. Tell me your experiences, you know, um, how did you get, other than grabbing hold of the clarinet and music, how did you get past that um, in order to just break all the barriers and become who you are? Because to me, you're pretty big. Well, I talk about, I talk, I have a movie coming, Jazz for Life, uh, a movie, a documentary, and a reality show, a first jazz reality show. And uh, we talk about me struggling with alopecia and and how my self-esteem was very very low i had really low self-esteem over the uh years you know when i was and because you know i lost my hair when i was like 12 so that was a you know difficult age to to go through that you know doing the you know going through puberty about to go to, through puberty um and it, you know it's rough so music helped me, gave me something that, hey, that I can do well. And, and it almost like was like a weapon that I could use to fight back with that. I, you know, you know, you know, I may I may have this issue over here, but guess what? I can play very well. You know, it kind of gave me and, and, and ultimately it it becoming a, 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 a great musician helped build up my self-esteem and help me face challenges I have, you know, in life. So that that really helped me. And, and, you know, I think a lot of, I tell a lot of parents and people that I talk to, sometimes I, you know, I do lectures and I, I, I tell them that music is bigger than just playing an instrument. Mm -hmm. it, it builds up self-esteem. It, it, 
it helps you in so many other areas of your of your life. You know, being an artist is not just playing an instrument or, or singing or being a vocal, but it helps you in so many other areas. So as you progressed in your life and you knew that you had this talent to play the saxophone, mm. what was your what was what do you do you recall being your first um moment where you was like, all right, I got this, you know, like I'm am I here? Like, am I really here like pinching yourself to say, am I really doing this? Yeah, yeah, well. The thing about playing music, when you start, it's kind of rough mm -hmm. because you, you know you, you hear other players that are playing so well, and you know the motivation is to become a good player. But you have to you have to see yourself getting better to continue wanting to play. Yeah. If that makes sense, you, you know it's hard to play if you don't see yourself getting better. You know what I mean? You don't you don't feel motivated to pick up your instrument or to perform. I mean, or, or practice if you don't see yourself getting better, because then the motivation is not there. So you have to you have to stay in it long enough to see yourself getting better, and then once you see yourself getting better, that's when you're like, I can do this. Yeah. But you have to get to the point. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. So did you ever like when you? did have those moments where maybe you thought, mm, I'm not getting better? Or did you did you ever have a moment like that where you ever felt like that you wanted to give up and just just not do it? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. many times. But I think my situation was a little different in that case because I had this low self, self-esteem issue with alopecia. Um, and, you know, it's funny because when I heard Jay, Jada Pinkett talk about that and I, I, it resonated so, so much with me. And it, I, I, I had to deal with that and dealing with that kind of made me want, you know, I, made me want to get back. You know, I, needed, I needed something. So, so having alopecia and you, were, you went to music because you was trying to um, not let alopecia distract you, it, you know, in a sense? Well, yeah, that it distract me and be the focus. It, it's almost having, you know, it's having a handicap. Some people, you know, may be disabled in, in various ways. That was a, I mean, and to, to some people compared to someone that may be disabled another, Another way, it, may, it, it doesn't compare, mm -hmm. you know, if they don't, if they lose a limb or what have you. But in my case, my my disability was being different and not having any hair. Mm -hmm. You know, being the only ball kid at twelve years old. Mm -hmm. That was um, that that was you know that was different, and being different at that age. There's a lot to come with that. Yeah. I mean, of course, now I'm comfortable, but I had right. to get yeah. with that. And then let's talk about your journey to getting into like your music. If I if I'm right, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, there was a there your your music is in movies. Is it one particular with um, Samuel L. Jackson and LL? I mean, I mean, sorry, Ice Cube. Yeah, Samuel Jackson, L. <laughs> Ice Cube exhibit. Well, I. My my music wasn't in it. I was in the movie. You were in. You were. They, they used. They used. Well, they used my album. Uh, they used my album cover. My it was. I don't know which. I, I think it was my fifth or sixth album. Because I was always into doing different things with my covers and just doing trying to take jazz to back to the mainstream where it once was. Um, and I I had this. Um, this album cover that had love, death, betrayal, and had these barbed wires going through me. Mm -hmm. And they thought it would be cool in the movie. So they put it in the movie. It was in like 10 scenes in the movie. So it was That's pretty cool. Awesome. So so by the time that they did that, had you already done a ton of other things before this? And so because I'm trying to determine how they found your album cover and said that's the one. 
I, they, well, actually at that time, and actually that was album number, that was number four, five, four, the, yeah, it was five, well, album number five. That, the, 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 they, the producers uh, uh, and the director of the movie actually saw the album cover on a billboard and posters on, and they, and from the billboard, they said, oh, this would be cool in the movie. And then they sent, you know, reached out to my people and, and of course, asked if they could do it and, you know, yeah. took care of business and, yeah. you know, it ended that's, up in the movie. That's what I talk about marketing. Like they saw it on a billboard. I tell people always invest in yourself. You've got to market, market, market. You never know who's watching, um, whether it's, picking up a magazine, seeing an ad there, seeing you on a billboard, you never know who's gonna call you and say, hey, I wanna use that. So that's it. And that was before, that was before social media. Yeah. That was before, yeah, that was, that, this is like, this is raw street advertising. Yeah. This ain't, no, no, this is before, I think MySpace was around then. Yeah. It, even, and it, I mean, so it was, you know, it, it was, it was, um, you know, different time. So moving on, um, I also am privy to you performing for the first ladies in, in the White House. So tell me how you got that connection and what that experience is like and in what arena did you play for them? Well, I started, I started performing. Uh, I started going to like when I discuss, and I talk about this in my documentary and movie, I, I understood the power of marketing and I understood how to put myself that in order to, 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 to put the music in the mainstream where I wanted to, I had to be at the right places, not, not small things. I needed to be at the, the top, the best of the best. So I started going to these events. And of course, once my album hit number one on a billboard, a lot of I started getting inviting, getting getting invited to a lot of top events and finding out, you know, and started meeting people and getting invited to more. And then it kind of like became a domino effect. And that's how I started. And, but I knew I had to go to those events. I had to, you know, eat, eat, you know, you know, attend those events to be to market myself yeah. on that level. That's and to be by those people. Yeah, you have to show up. You have to show up. And that's part of pouring into yourself and into, you know, your career if you're trying to get to the next level. So I like that. So which first lady? You want to tell the audience? Well, I've done a couple. That was at the Bombers. That was the when, when you know, the Michelle Obama and the Bombers and uh, Barack Obama got elected. Yeah. When, I'm sorry, when Barack Obama got elected. <laughs> yeah. And because I, I, that's a regular... Uh, that's regularly on my schedule. I do the way I, yeah, I do the way I supposed. To, I do that every year. Kudos to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but that's an important. It is. It's huge. Event, red carpet, and I'm I'm attending like another thing I'm doing is the Kennedy Center Honors where the president comes to. He comes to that. You know, that's on CBS. What advice would you give to someone that's in music or just playing an instrument that want to get on a, 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 a higher level? You got to show up and you got to go to. You got to go to the events that that are going to elevate you. And there's and, and but you got to know the caliber of it that you're right. going to. Right. And and I. I learned that the hard way. You know, I used to just go anywhere, but now I'm selective yeah. on where I go and what makes sense, especially at this point in my career. Yeah. You know, I got to be selective. I got to see, you know, I, I got to go what, where, where something makes sense, where it's got to make sense. Right. And then it has, and just like there's a value to your talent and there's a value to, to who you are, there's a value to that event. And it has to match your value, if that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense, yes. I you know, it, it all has, because I mean, it all got to make sense. And even, you know, because nobody's going to tell you it don't make sense. They're going to let you go ahead and do what you want to do. Yeah. And, and, but 
but learning. But but they'll know it don't make sense, and and they'll be saying, "Why is he here? Why is he there? Why?" You know. That you always you also have made history on the New York ex- New York Exchange floor. Tell us about that. Like, how did that happen? Oh, man. That I became the first saxophone player to play at the closing bell on the New York Stock Exchange. That was that ha- it happened so quick. Um, I got invited. And I had never, you know, you, you look on you look on TV and you always see the closing bill. It looks huge, uh-huh. but so small, you know, it's <laughs> really small. It's very small. You wouldn't even believe how small it is. But on television, it looks huge. Yeah. Yeah. It looks big. And, you know, you have all these big brokers there. I mean, it's amazing. So... I played at the closing bell, uh, I you know, and then uh, I I played a song for for all the you know you know all the J P Morgan all the brokers, yeah. and they rolled out all these cocktail bars on the actual floor, and we had we had a toast. We, I mean you know we had drinks and, and they played some. It was great, and then we had a big dinner in one of the private uh, ballrooms afterwards. So it's really nice. It, I mean it's a. For me, that was just amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Kudos Thank to you. We all, we lo- I love to see our people thrive and, and 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 succeeding in the things that they love to do. Right, not being forced to do something, but really um, doing the things that they love to do. Um, what do you want your legacy to be? Um, you know. Someone who tried to, 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 to change the music, uh, who, who, who didn't go with the status quo, mm. who, 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 who wanted to change, and I'm speaking of the music, the jazz, the music of jazz, who wanted to change it. And because of that, unfortunately, you know, there are things that go along with that. Yeah. <laughs> Not so nice thing, but um you know someone who tried it and, and never gave up and fought till the end you know and i you know and that's that's what i talk about my movie i never you know i never i never gave up once i once i you know i talk about this in the movie once i discovered the power of marketing and mm-hmm. what it can do mm-hmm. oh that was it once i found, once once i found once i discovered the game if you will Mm-hmm. Oh, that's it. It was yeah. a wrap. Because nobody's gonna tell you. Oh no! They let you just people. People don't. T- they're not gonna tell you the game. They're gonna let you just literally make all the mistakes, fall on your face, keep going, keep walking in circles. But they're not gonna tell you how it's done. Yeah, and then either you're gonna give up, or you're gonna keep bumping your head till you get it right. Yeah. 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 So what do you have coming up like coming up in 2023? Um, I know you got some things coming down the pipe. Well, you know, I'm on my 10th album, Jazz for Life. Uh, we just released a new single and video uh, called One. Um, we got we're going to release some more singles from that in the new year. And I'm going to start a tour. I'm going to start. I just I toured, did the South. I did South America uh, the end of the summer to mid to the end of September. And then I went to the Black Caucus, Congressional Black Caucus. Yep. Yep. And then when we, uh, starting new year, I'm gonna do a new tour, you know, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the Caribbean. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go overseas, you know. That's good. That's good. Well, we would like to congratulate you on all your successes that you had. We know it's not easy in the in the entertainment business period. I don't care if it's jazz. I don't care if it's acting. I don't care if it's uh, what. It's not easy, but we just have to stay. If if it's something that we want to do, committed, and you've done that, and you you've made some ground. You've made some ground here, and so congratulations on all of that. Um, go ahead and tell the people where they can find you on all social media sites, how they can follow you. Uh, jazz saxophone. Um, my website is skijohnson.us, skijohnson.us, um, jazz saxophone, uh, at jazz saxophone on pretty much everything. All right. You guys go out and follow Ski Johnson, jazz saxophonist, saxophone, <laughs> right? Sax, uh, 
Not O. Uh, sax a uh, phone. Uh, no, saxophone. Saxophone. Not it. Yep. Okay. S A X A P H O N E. You know, they put my name in. It'll come it'll right come up. up. Yeah, if they, you put it, it's, 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 it's only one of me. It's only it'll one. come up. I did it. I just put your name in it every, everywhere and it came up. So, again, thank you so much for being here. I'm so honored. I enjoyed your time. Um, and we'll be getting back together in the 2023 year and the new year, trying to work some other things out. Um, in the meantime, you guys, we're going to get out of here for now. Remember, respect yourself, respect each other. God bless. God bless.